Hey, Gregor, uh, I don't think uh, Jason's in here. Do you want to take care of his narration? Sure. People are all still jockeying for a nice viewing position here. Okay, this is from Kate. We still see some people coming at us here. But for those who don't know, I am for Jesus. Jesus. Thanks for joining the, the stream. Republic. Welcome Good all to see you, again you today. all to this amazing welcome and quest scene today. We want to congratulate OOV on this beautiful town, first off, and thank Gregor for constantly, consistently including us in the welcome quest. It is an honor. User joined your channel. Is that possibly joining us? Kazen continues, so we at the Phoenix Republic, we do a lot of things. We have establishments for learning, for trade, for storytelling. We like to foster creativity and generally support events as a whole. So this release, we wanted to talk a bit more about a very special event we wanted to support. One of Stroud's first comparative team sports, Gus Ball. I guess this is the new Gus Ball Arena. Uh, there might be two here. I don't, I'm not sure. Kazen continues, Ben Mino Lodovay created Gusbo in support of Paxler last release. In this release, when we heard about Vengeance, my first thought to violation is we have to have an outside Gusball arena. So we'll be seeing Gus Ball here. This place was put together to support the Republic's team, the Port Phoenix Firehawks. Case oh. Friends. But it's oh, I love it. All. I believe that would be the Fire Chickens, not the Firehawks. Oh, oh. I was thinking the same thing. Kazen continues, Jack may have helped us put the arena together, and I'll be adding some specialties here today and some extra paint, so to speak. Kazen continues, each end has a goal at the end. The gust ball starts in the center here. I had to bail out preparing for my part. Uh, about how many people do we have on the quest for the f finale? 25? 30? Okay. Kazen continues, but this time around we wanted to make gust ball a bigger thing. More like football and soccer where we had to work it down the field. There's about 30 people in uh, engines right now. Do you better review? Kazing continues. Hopefully this field lives up to Bambino Lodovate's hopes and we hope many will get much use out of it.
Hey guys, you got a quest going on right now? Yeah, the welcome quest. Welcome. Yes, quest. and we're also cool, broadcasting cool, right. this live. You can zone to. Where's a short name? Yours. Lazarus. Lazarus. Violation. Violet. Minerva. <laughs> Jack Frost. There's Gurney, Gurney. Elaine. Nathaniel. Oramus. Those are all one name. <laughs> so Kazan continues Shit. on and says, no, the ball's not present. Uh, but this for this event, as well as many other events for roleplay, PvE, and PvP, are types of things we want to support and, if possible, enhance in the community to come. This wouldn't be possible with all, through all awesome people helping out. Kazan continues on. So thank you again to Violation for allowing us this land to build Firehawk Field. Yeah, that's about right. And that's all Kazan had for today. Fire Hawk Field. <laughs> fire chicken. Fire chicken. Fire chicken field. I've called it a fire chicken since the minute I've seen it. All right, so I, I encourage everybody to stand up. Some applause to Kazen, Jackknife, and the field. And then remind them, hey, we've got to be on our feet to get to the next part. See, fire chickens, because you can do the chicken dance. And Kazan does the chicken dance for the crowd out in the middle of the field. The crowd goes wild. Oh, free jump something? Yeah. And just a reminder to everybody, this is the Phrase That Pays Weekend. We are giving away $20 during this broadcast. All you have to do is be the ninth caller with the Phrase That Pays to the NBNN hotline. And you can win $20 in Trinity Avatar gift coins. And that chance will be coming up here very shortly. NBNN hotline number is 872-LAZ-NBNN. That is 872-529-6266. Yes, I've been watching those numbers grow. Vegas Bit, welcome to the stream. And of course, Spiro, always nice to see you. Is there going to be a dance or should I take him on to the next part? Sun Archilles, welcome to the, welcome to the stream. Snow, welcome oh, back again. Oh, I see the emote Stan, for welcome chicken back. dance, but I don't see Luca, them doing it. always nice to see you. 
Bambino and an M60 for Jesus. It's always nice to see you folks as well. It. Thanks for you coming back. Do you actually see it, though? Yeah. Well, when I did it, I saw it, and when I saw uh, Kaz do it earlier, I saw it on screen. Interesting. I'm glitched out. I can't see uh, any of the chicken dance stuff. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to re-say that other uh, part about, you know, follow me and have your weapons drawn then. So, Jack, I just see you combine both of those into one <laughs> <Yes>. announcement. <laughs> <laughs> So that way you can copy and paste it again. I've been actually bouncing back and forth up and down the stream to get those clips back at it. I should have just put them in a little text file. So we've got a little demonstration of uh, what Gus Ball would look like if Destiel was actually the ball. They so needed nerf Gus. <laughs> He's just getting thrown around out there. Oh, the, the problem is the stun afterward is so overpowered that it makes Gus Ball a lot harder. Yeah, because uh, at a certain point the ball won't move no matter what you do. Yeah, and they added something new this this release in R18. There's like an automatic 100% five second uh, bend over at the end of your first one as well. So watch him. He'll stand up and head down, and he won't be able to move. See, his head is down right now. He won't be yes. able to move until even though he gets knocked down, he won't get knocked back until that's over. So. That means uh, Gus Ball is going to be, he's actually kind of nerfed now. Yeah, Gus Ball is heavily nerfed, it's possible, but it's going to be actually fight the team more than the ball. Um, uh, oh yeah. Where you have to stop the, the team from being able to cast the spells when the ball is able to be moved. That's going to be the goal. That's going to be the goal. Yes. Timing, timing. Timing's Timing's gonna gust be on your opponents. Yep. Oh. I would think if Gus Ball becomes a uh, big enough uh, draw that they would give us something to actually play the game with. Of course, like anything else here yeah. in Strategy Avatar, I so if we get a big enough community we... push, we can get it in. I was just about to say that. I think all we need is for all the viewers of your stream to leave a message on the front of the developers saying, we want you to make Gus Ball easier. <laughs> and welcome, welcome to the Cooking screen, Cooking Goblin. Goblin. Yes, welcome, welcome. An M60 for Jesus says they should put in a beach ball. That idea has been tossed around. Again, the whole idea of a sport like this is very, very new to everybody. And we got a nice uh, Bambino for that. There. The, the idea of ball has been tossed around. <laughs> no pun intended. They actually have a, uh, a big pine cone that you can kick her out. I just remembered that. Or how about how about can? It was. Uh, we can uh, have a little bit of a lot of that. I think it released two or three or something because KX wanted to play soccer. I think it was him. Uh, uh, Spiro was. out there says we need a beer pong equivalent. Now I know we have mugs and stuff that we can put on tables, but I don't think there's any way we could simulate that. Violation, your bit's up next, correct? Yep, and I just shot it out. Yes, avatars, follow me. Be sure to have your weapon on and your skills at the ready. You'll never know what you could happen to you in vengeance. Awesome. I find coconuts. Coconuts are not safe. We just had that conversation a little while ago. Also been overpowered. Ooh, I see an attack already against the Thanel. Warning, he, he does not go down easy. 